Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is gonna be a list of some mods you can get for your car that are under $100. So I'm gonna just give you guys some of the recommendations that I have for my car and then some recommendations that I kinda wanna get for my car also that I think are probably gonna be worth it. I think you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your car look good and to make it unique. So I'm just giving you guys some mods that I think go a long way and to helping you making your car look different and unique. Because small mods can go a long way. So one mod that I think is really good for your car are, is like lighting. So like interior lighting and like LED strips and stuff, I think those are like really cool mods that you can do for your car and they're pretty inexpensive. I changed like my dome light, my door light, and my trunk light and it was all for under 40 bucks. So that was like a pretty inexpensive mod for me. And then it goes, it went like, it goes like a pretty long way because like whenever I go to my car now and I like, it's like at night, like you can really see the light, the blue lights and it looks really cool. And you don't have to go with like blue or some crazy color. I think you can go with like, I think like just white, that's a nice ass FRS, that's the green one dude. <laughs> I think just the like, like, like white lights or like white LED lights look really good on your car. Cause like for some reason all factory cars come with amber lights, I don't know why, but amber lights just don't look like as good as like, like cool white lights or something or like some nice like, you know, like those really nice lights that you see in other cars. Oh, I, I can't explain, it's a good way to make your car look fancier. like. Yeah, I, I'm gonna just say fancier because fuck it. It's a good way to make your car look fancier without having to spend a lot of money. And then it's always in there. And then you can also get like those like lights that go like around like the bottom of your car and like glow at, you, glow at your feet that are like change colors and stuff at like AutoZone. I think those are pretty cool too. Like some people might not like them, but I think that's like a really cool mod you can get as well. Cause like it's always like changing and it's just like adds like a whole new atmosphere to the inside of your car. Honestly, I think some of the best mods you can get for your car are interior mods. Because exterior mods are cool, because it makes your car look good from the outside, but interior mods are also nice as well. It's good because it just makes your car look cooler from the inside and stuff. And like, you're, you see it more often because you're driving inside your car. So I think interior mods are like a really, really good way to go. So this one might be a little bit more directed towards the BRZs because the BRZs have like the uh, orange uh, side panel, side markers. But I think you should. Uh, I think a good mod would be to replace your side markers because it just makes the car look a, like a little bit more better. Especially for the BRZ, the orange ones were like I wasn't a big fan of them. And then you can get like clear ones, or you can get like smoked out ones, and then you can really change the appearance of your car that way too. And it's just a small touch, but it kind of makes like a pretty good difference on your car. And then you can get that for any other car too. Some other sports cars have uh, side markers that you can get for different colors too. So it is not really just the BRZ, but the BRZ is a good example for me because I actually did that myself. And that mod is not that expensive either. It's like 50 bucks. So one mod that I kind of want to get for my car, but I haven't gotten yet is a new uh, shifter. So I think getting a new shifter is a really good mod for your car also because you can get like a weighted shifter or you can just get like like a unique shifter like just looks different because you're always shifting and then it'll just look really nice with a different shifter and like a different feeling you know so and you can get shifters for pretty cheap you can probably get them from like 20 to 50 bucks too so i think that'll be a really nice mod for your car also and i think i'm on i might get one soon because i kind of want to change out my shifter and just make my car a little bit unique but i'm not going to tell you guys which one i'm going to get it's going to be a surprise but it's going to be a little ricey just so you guys know i really think a new shifter can really like impact your driving experience because you're always using your shifter when you're driving and then just having a different one like maybe like a weighted one and it feels a lot better and I don't know I can't explain it I just feel like it would be a really good mod and it's not that expensive either this next mod kind of counts as two but I think uh, like a really good idea would be to like go buy like wrapping paper not like wrapping for like gifts but like actual like wrap that you can like wrap for your car but not like a lot. I think you, should, you can buy like a good amount for like 50 bucks or so and then you can like wrap the interior of your car into like whatever color you want. I've seen like a lot of people do it on their BRZs like they wrap their interior green or blue or red. I might do that for my car as well. It's gonna make your like interior a lot different and unique so when you step outside of it it's like wow it's like a bunch of different colors and you can also get the same thing and then you can buy like a wrap for like your hood or something and like get like a black hood and it kind of looks really nice and like you can just change up the appearance. That's like a really inexpensive mod that could like you could like do a lot with it like you could wrap the exterior of your car or you could just wrap like some of the exterior like you could wrap your roof or you could wrap your hood or something and then it will just make like a really good difference it'll be a it'll be a big difference inexpensive big difference to your car 
So I think that's like a really good mod, and I think I might do that as well for mine too. So I might buy like a wrap soon, and might I might wrap my interior, or I might do my hood hood because I think that'll look really good. Another mod that is like inexpensive is tinting windows. So you can like get your windows tinted for pretty cheap. I think I got mine tinted for around like 60 to 100 bucks. I don't really remember right now, but it, it wasn't that expensive. I had like a I had like a coupon for it. Like it was like a coupon, and then the guy like did it for like pretty cheap. But you can get your windows tinted, and then that's that's like a pretty good mod because it like it like it stops the sunlight from coming in, so your car doesn't get as hot during the summer. And then you can get like whatever tint you want, basically. I mean, you got you might get pulled over for the cops by the cops if you get too dark of a tint, but my tint's legal, so I'm fine. And I think it like it may, it'll make it look a lot better because your car like looks a little bit darker. And tints always just look better on cars, honestly. Like I haven't seen, I don't think I've ever seen a car that looked better without a tint than with a tint. Just, it just makes your car look good, you know? It just makes your car look good. This one's probably gonna be probably my biggest one for like two reasons. One, because someone called me out on it. And another one I think is just like a really good mod. And I'll tell you why. So I'm gonna say plastic dipping your wheels. So why plastic dipping your wheels? So I got called out like the other day on it because someone was like, yeah, Alex's car is really nice, but I'm just not a fan of the plastic dip wheels because you know, it's just plastic dipping, you know? Like it'd be better if you had real wheels. Well, first off, like that's the whole point of plastic dip. It's inexpensive. You know, like for real wheels, uh, like let's say I've done the calculations already. If I wanted to get wheels, I would have to get wheels, tires, and then probably coilovers too, so they could so they could fit on my car. And then me like calculating just like the minimal like price, like it's gonna be like all right, this is like the lowest estimate too, like 600 for wheels, 600 for coils, and then 600 for tires, and that's already like two grand. Like it's 1800, but it'll probably round up to two grand. So I'm not gonna spend two grand on new wheels when I can go to Home Depot and spend 20 bucks on Plastic Dip and then Plastic Dip my wheels and it looks just as good. So that's one reason. It's really inexpensive and you can like change the appearance of your car and it'll look really good. Not Maybe not good to everybody but it'll help you, it'll change the appearance of your car. And another reason I like it is Plastic Dip isn't permanent so you can always take it off and to try things out, you know? It's a really good way to try out like different like color wheels on your car. Like I did white on my car and I think white looks really good. But like if I wanted to, I could go back and I could like get like black plasti dip and try to see how like black wheels look on my car or like green or like whatever color I want or blue. Like it's like a really good way to like test to see how like something will look on your car before you buy it. So that's why I did plasti dip because I want to see how white wheels look on my car because I do want white wheels on my car. But I wasn't really sure like how the overall look would be. And then when I plasti dipped them, I was like, all right, this looks really good. So I think plastic dip is a really good way to like practice, like see how something's gonna look on your car. But yeah, I think plastic dip's just a really good mod just because it's inexpensive, it's not permanent, and it lets you like ex like practice and try out like new looks for your car. So like you can see how something looks before you even do it. Cause like I'd rather plastic dip my wheels now and then see like see what my car looks like with different colors of wheels before I buy actual wheels. Cause once you buy actual wheels, like you already spent all that money. So you, and so and like it's like once you buy wheels, you're probably not gonna change them for a while. So you're gonna be stuck with that look. So you might as well plastic dip your wheels beforehand, and then see how it looks. So you can just see if you like it or not. So yeah, plastic dip will probably be like one of my number one mods that are cheap and inexpensive but look really good. And you don't even have to have, have to plastic dip your wheels. You can plastic dip other parts of your car. Like my friend, he has an FJ Cruiser, and like the FJ Cruiser, they like come with like their mirrors and stuff are like silver but the rest of the car has black accents and he thought that was stupid so he just plastic dipped his like like the cover for his mirrors black as well and then it just made his car look a lot better because it all matched like the accents all the accents of the car matched itself and there wasn't like just random like silver parts of the car so you can plastic dip other parts of your car too if you guys have any suggestions for some cheap mods that you can do for your car that are like under 100 bucks or so then list them put them in the comments below because i like to see what you guys would think are like some pretty good mods that like are inexpensive but go a long way you know that's what this video is about mods that are inexpensive but go a long way today's video is kind of short i just kind of want to make a quick video because i haven't made one in a while and i thought this would be a good video because you know why not but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, put that like button. If you want, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of some good mods. And then, uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to uh, stay updated with more videos. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Man, I hope this video is good. This video is ass. It don't matter, though. It was good. Hope you guys liked it.
Oh, oh, oh.